It is vlog 24, about to mow an extremely overgrown place for free. It's 9 a.m. I'm trying my brand new flail mower for the first time. This thing, in theory, should absolutely destroy this yard. I can see it from here. I'm in a park, car park at the moment, but this place is across the road. I will show you shortly. I had a message from someone who said their mum lives two doors down from um, it's a housing department house, so social housing. There's no one in it. It's abandoned, apparently. They've told me that they've complained to council about it multiple times, but nothing's happened. I can see it from here. It looks like an absolute disgrace. I really need to, I don't know, talk to a politician or someone in housing or something and find out what is going on with all these abandoned housing places. Is there no money to get them um, fit to have people in them or... Like what's the go? There are just so many of these places with no one in them, which is just wild to me. Also, so many of them just aren't maintained. Can you hear the cicadas? I swear they're spoiling the audio in every vlog. Let's go look at this place. Look at that. Now, I don't know the situation, as I said, and, and it's very easy to get outraged and um, jump up and down asking for answers, but I, I genuinely would like to know the reason how these places are allowed to get this way. And again, I'm, I'm assuming it comes down to money. So that's the front. The people that contacted me actually sent me some videos. They were trying to tackle it themselves. They, I saw they had their Ryobi trimmers out and they obviously tried to take care of this bit. The rest of it's quite an undertaking. And then the back, even worse story. We've got a bit of everything here, look. We've got some long, leafy buffalo here. We've got some cooch here. Plenty of weeds, paspalum. Oh my God, like you can't even get in there. That is that long. I just heard something crawling in the grass and I might retreat for now. Now, normally I would be looking at this and be licking my lips and be like, yeah, cool, cool video to do. But in the back of my mind, I'd be thinking, oh my God, how am I gonna get through this? Today, different story. I have this new flail mower, but I'm thinking the flail mower is probably gonna mulch it up well enough to not have to take the grass. That's the that's plan. I'm so excited to use it. There is a water meter here. I had a look on Google Maps. Place is very tidy in Google Maps. Not so much now. There we go. Water meter hiding in the grass there. Believe that was all in the front yard. How are you, mate? How you going, brother? Good. Is, which one's your house? <laughs> which one you asked us? Uh, that one, actually. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Hello? Oh, I am. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Oh. My daughter messaged you. Yes. Yeah, Jessica. What's your name? Hey, I'm Maddie. Maddie, nice to meet you. Maddie, I'm, all, I'm on all your TikTok pages and everything. Are you? Watch all oh, your you mowing. Indy, come on. Yeah, you gonna come be, on. You going to be in the video? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, we've had the owners that used to live there. Yeah. Um, they got moved out because the house was supposed to be getting picked up by housing. I came across the only reason why I, I was the one that kept doing it. So I you've, how many times? I found a snake across the road, red billy black. Yeah. About this long, across the other side of the road on the grass there. So okay. that's another reason why I wanted to try and get the grass down. So you've complained to council about it? Yes, I'll bring up housing about it. That's too much for me. I've got a 36. No, I, I saw um, your daughter sent me some videos of you trying to trim yeah, the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Yeah. Yeah, Ryobi, was it? Yeah, Ryobi, yeah. 36 volt. That's yeah, good for home, really but like, good, yeah, yeah, you're not going to get through this stuff, but yeah. Yeah, bit of length there. And I talked to the housing guy the other day, and he goes, yeah, no, we sent people out a month ago. Yeah, I, look, I, I hate stepping on, it's hard with these ones. I try and avoid doing uh, places that no one's in or housing yeah. places that no one's in. Yeah, I know. Just because it's like, oh, okay, have they hired someone to do it? Um, I am I training on someone's toe? Get it done because yeah. Get it done because the only reason I came out is because you, you said, you, yeah, and she said you, you've been contacting council and housing and nothing's yep. happened. So yep. uh, I've got a machine that I can try out on it. There is a water, water meter. Yeah, I had a look at um, Google Maps, but thanks for telling me that because that would have ruined my day. <laughs> yeah. Now I've got to go wake the wife up. Why? You're here. <laughs> she, she's the one that got me onto your. Ah, uh, man, the machines will wake her up. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Yeah. I'll oh, unload awesome. and yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, I, I've got this new machine, so hopefully Hi. it'll be easier. It's pretty, hey? Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Not your standard sort of mower. Oh, oh, oh. That's 
send it to your straight throat. Well, that's the plan, yeah. <laughs> Ramp nicely. You steer it by braking either wheel. There's levers for that. Let's see if I can out myself. Uh, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. Well, you just pull that. Oh, and then the other one's the brake. Oh, gotcha. That's kind of cool. How's it go through long grass? Goes up the hill all right, eh? I need uh, I need to get one of these just to cruise around looking for overgrown lawn. Yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> I like it. I don't want to give it back. I've got so much optimism. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hopefully this all works as expected. I don't want that feeling to go. I'm also going to start quite slow, just to get a feel for it. Just, look at it. It just takes it straight down. We haven't even gone as low as we can yet, but like it just lays it down nicely. We're gonna do a couple of passes to mulch it all up. The great thing about it is it's not like a, a side discharge ride on or anything where it's just spraying everything out the side. It's a little bit windy today. When you do that, it all goes out into the atmosphere, it goes all over the neighbors, and you're like, oh, am I getting everything filthy? It just lays it down nicely. This is quite wet too. We have had a bit of rain. a lot. Still heaps to go to. Believe it or not, <coughs> there is a path there. So we're going to edge all that up as well. I don't know how much we're going to get done today. It is already 11.30. Um, I'm going to start packing up at 1 because I've got school pickup. So definitely won't get as much done as I would have liked today. It doesn't matter. I can come back. I'm coming back. I'm going to get more grass than I thought. I'm going to get a couple of bins brought here, big bins, right. um, so I can just put it straight in them and get them emptied. I don't know when I'm coming back, but I'll be back. Right. <laughs> well, well. Ooh, this is going to be a big one. A lot more grass than I thought, which means we are going to be taking the grass. I'm going to see if I can get managed waste service to drop off a couple of the the bins that I can put it straight in. Again, it never shows on camera, but this is just ridiculous. Have a look at this. This isn't raked or anything. This is just, there's lumps and lumps and lumps. Lumps of that. And sure, we could do a slash and dash and be like, yeah, we're done, but I just, it needs the grass taken. It really does. As much as I was hoping to complete the front today, with how it ended up, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with the progress. Obviously, we've still got some crack grass and stuff. Now, I don't know when I'm going to get back here because I'm in the middle of another Fremo Fridays. I've got to finish the backyard at another place. Like I said at the start of this video, I thought I was going to be able to knock this over super quick. Have a look at the tide mark here. That's where the edges... It's really hard doing this back to the front. That's where the edges used to be. And that's before we even start to think about the back. I haven't even gone around the corner to have a look at what it's like out there. Plenty to do, but I've got to get out of here for today. There's a guy that picks his kid up on a uh, 
bike and trailer. Looks like he's a little bit ahead of me. I like to race him. We're catching him. We're catching him. I like to see if I can beat him there. He's beat me to the roundabout. It's funny because he doesn't even know he's in a race. Uh, we've only got like 18% power, so we haven't got full speed. I think the race is over. You win today, mister. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm, mm-mm.